let's look at the definition of a function first okay so then we'll talk about the piecewise defined functions combine then we will talk about the combining functions addition subtraction division and composition then about the inverse functions okay so first we will go ahead and talk about the definition look at the definition of a function let a and b two non-empty sets a function from a to b is a rule correspondent rule of correspondence that assign each element in set a exactly one element in b the set a is called the domain and set b is called the core domain of the function okay so set of output is called the range of the function okay so to demons, uh, discuss this one we need a way to represent a function okay so easiest way when the domain is finite is to use a picture okay so here let's look at this this set a this is the set a here so we can draw the domain and codomain if they are finite a b a b so the then we need to have a way to show the rule of correspondence between the elements so we can show from arrow that means according to this rule this first element is related to this guy then this one blue one is related to this this one is related to this this one is related to this one okay so here if we look at this each picture let's look at first one so here each element on the domain have a corresponding output and only one exactly one output okay so each element should have a output each element in the domain should have a out corresponding output so here each dom element in the domain have corresponding output and for each element there is exactly one output no so this is a function okay this picture represents the function okay so this is a function let's look at this one okay so if i look at here this red input is meeting output here okay so here this is not a function because each element in the domain does not have corresponding output okay here this element don't have output so this one don't have corresponding output so this is not a function okay so this is not a function if we look at this one here each element has a output but two output so it's not exactly one uh, output no so this one have two output so this is not a function okay this is not a function let's look at the last one here each element have output so each element have exactly one output no this one have exactly one this one have exactly one this one have exactly one so this is okay okay so in two inputs can go into one output that's fine because if i look at this one it has only exactly one output this one also goes to exactly one output okay so in this one this is a this is a function okay So you can see here in the dom core domain there is a, this one this one is not corresponding to any input that's okay okay as long as each input have output and each one have exactly one output it's a function so this guy is a function so if you look at here this is not a function because 
two arrows is going out from one input okay this is not output this is not a function and also this is not a function why here there is one and this point is missing arrow no no arrow is coming out of him this is not a function okay so this is a this is a function this is not a function this is not a function and this is a function okay so hope this picture will make the function definition of function clear okay so now one thing the range of this set is here it's all the four points no these all four points are output so this is the range and in this case this in this case these three points are the range okay these three points are the range this is not in the range so this is the outputs are the range okay so these three points are the range okay so as long as we have a way to represent the two sets core domain and domain and the rule uh, rule uh, we can represent a function okay here the rule we represented by arrows no showing the correspondent here we can describe the rule by words okay so here you can see each input is matched to a same colored output so here the rule of the function is same color no same colored outputs okay i can say same color okay so here i can say the same color so here you can say the rule of correspondence correspondence is same but this uh, second one and third one is not a function because of the differences in the core domains and the domains okay so even though we have the same rule it may not be a function if we change the domain or the core domain okay so it's very important to understand that function has three parts okay we have the rule of correspondence domain and core domain okay so function has three parts all three parts are important rule the domain and the core domain okay so in the next video we will look at some uh, natural examples of function